artistry. We have Zanae over here, our lovely hairstylist, and our model here, Chalet. So yeah, tonight we've created a video that is our demonstration for the prom giveaway that we're getting ready to present to you guys. We're going to choose one winner. I'll do the makeup for free, and Zanae over here will style the hair. So yeah, this is our look that we came up with tonight, just to give you guys an idea of how amazing we are at what we do. Hello. Janae, would you like to tell what you were going for with the hair? Well, since we did a off-the-shoulder dress tonight, I went for like a goddess mohawk, as you can see. Very fabulous, very editorial. Work it, Shalane. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel, Shalane? It was wonderful. Alrighty, let's get started. Again, our model tonight is Shelley Reed. She's my cousin on my mother's side. Very beautiful model girl. So yeah, I've already gone ahead and moisturized her skin and primed it with my NYX uh, Photo Lovin' Primer, the clear one. And then I've just already gone ahead and started filling in her brows, scoping them out and filling them in. And I'm using my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette and now I'm just starting to clean up her brows and this is a concealer by Carity and it's from their Correct and Conceal Palette so I'm just cleaning out those brows getting them super perfect and I'm also going to take that uh, concealer all over her lid to create a base for her eyeshadow my usual steps and now I'm just uh, taking this warm brown and applying that to her crease and this will work as our transition shade. So I focus the product in her actual crease and with no added product on the brush I just slightly fade it upwards towards her brow bone and this will just help everything blend a lot more easier later. And now I've also just begun uh, deepening up her crease and I'm using a matte black and right now I'm using my OPB Gorgeous palette, my favorite darling. And now I'm just softening up that uh, crease shade that we just applied and then blending it out as well. And with this look, it's going to be a lot of blending. I didn't show as much blending as I actually did, it probably took about an hour. Just kidding. But yeah, it takes some time to get it perfection. You guys know I'm a perfectionist. If you don't know by now, I'm telling you now, I'm a perfectionist. And now I'm just deepening that outer V of her eye with that same matte black shade. And I'm going to slightly fade it over towards the uh, center of her eyelid. So this is also, I guess, going to kind of create a half cut crease. You guys know I love a cut crease, but I wanted it to be a little bit more softer, quote unquote softer. <laughs> so I did a half cut crease. And I'm just uh, sculpting out that cut crease with that same concealer. And you want to take your time with this definitely practice makes perfect you want to I guess kind of start off with like little like sketch lines and then go back over it to get that line super perfect and then I just blended that uh, concealer slightly over into that matte black eyeshadow that we applied earlier and now I'm filling in the area our uh, crease area with this beautiful like what is it like a turquoise blue and this is from my Morphe 35 Glam color palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. I love it. Like the colors are so pigmented, so beautiful. I've just, I don't know, I've just been working with it a lot more lately because you guys know by now I love color and drama, and this palette just gives me life. And the colors, like if you haven't noticed, the eyeshadows, little pans itself are like pretty huge, like, and it's super affordable. Like, I could just go on and on, but yeah, love it. So yeah, I've already, um, I applied that turquoise shade and then I added a darker blue on the outer edge going towards my outer V of my eye just to create more definition and give it more of an ombre look. And then I highlighted the inner corners of her eyes with a beautiful gold shade and that's from the OPD Gorgeous palette. And then of course I added my beautiful super dramatic wing line to the inner and outer corner of my of her eyes until you can talk about my own face. <laughs> 
and I've also applied that same gel liner to her waterline and this is my L'Oreal Infallible um, Black is Black gel liner I believe and I just smudged that under her eyes and then took that same matte black eyeshadow and further smoked out that waterline. And so yeah, our eyes are all completed and I've just begun cleaning up her upper brow. And I'm using a uh, foundation that is her actual skin tone to do this. I didn't want to use that same concealer because it would have just been way too light. So I just used the foundation. Now I've already gone ahead and started applying a cream concealer for my cream highlight um, to her T-zone, her upper cheekbones, and in the area that I want to draw light to. And I'm using that same Carity Correct and Conceal palette. And this also helps with creating more perfect lines around her eyes to get that wing line super snapped. And then I've just begun blending that out with a sponge. I really love this uh, beauty blender sponge, whatever you want to call it. I get it from CVS. I believe it's by 360 Beauty. But they're super soft and bouncy and they're just amazing and I think you get like like 30 a pack and the pack only costs like three or four dollars so you can't beat that I'll take it any day over a beauty blender for $20 yes I will and now I'll just begin setting those areas and I'm using my Sasha buttercups uh, setting powder on all the areas that we highlighted and I love this it just looks so beautiful on uh, colored skin and uh, women of color and you know my more olive tone girls it just looks so beautiful and I've just begun setting the rest of her face with uh, max what shade is good I think it's their mineralized skin finish in NC 50 and I'm also going to take a little bit of that down the sides of her nose to contour it some And I'm just dusting off all the excess powder so that we don't look super caked face over here. And I'm just blending all of our work in so that again everything flows more seamlessly into one another. And so that it's not as harsh. I'm just doing some more contouring and I'm using my uh, NYX what's that? The, um, my NYX Pro Highlight and Contour Palette and I'm just taking that in the in all the areas that I want to like really like stand out and just look more chiseled and it just adds a bit more color back to your face as well and I also took that under her bottom lip just to give her lip more of that pouty look and add a little bit more full, fullness to it. And again, I'm just blending her whole face just so that everything flows more seamlessly. And now I'm setting it and I'm using my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and I, I went hand with you to see her face is really like drenched. And this will just help remove that cakiness and all that powder look to it. And this will also help make our highlighter like really pop. And I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in that glow. And I'm just kind of doing a combination of all the colors all over her face just to give her this super golden bronzy goddess look. I just died. Like, she just looks so fabulous. Like, I'm just, I don't know, I'm super excited about this giveaway. I hope you guys are too. This is my very first giveaway on my channel. So, yeah, I'm super excited. Now, I've already begun um, applying lipstick. I'm using my BH Cosmetics, the Ultimate Lip Palette. I think this, this is the new one. I'm not exactly sure, but it's one of the, the um, lip kits. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm just creating a bit of an ombre lip. I applied a light pink, a nudie pink to the center of her lips. And then I just outlined it with a more berry pink lipstick and just faded it into one another. And now Zanae has already begun with the hair. And I guess this is going to be my first time describing a hairstyle as well, but hopefully I do her justice. So yeah, she just began sectioning off the hair into three sections. 
um, creating little ponytails in each center row of her head, if that makes any sense. And she's using a um, edge control to actually like slick the hair up. And with edge control, I really love it because it won't make your hair like get uh, curly and super wavy. It'll keep it nice and slick, sleek and straight. And I, I just had to add these little moments in there of her checking herself out. Like, <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, again, she's just licking the hair up more with some of that edge control and pulling it into a center ponytail. And she pulled out the, um, the edges on the very side closer to your ear to create a bit of a small curl. And I really love that touch. It just added a bit more of an elegance to it that I don't know I'm just obsessed I love like waved edges like bring that baby hair down or add a little curl or something there like it's just cute to me so again she's just pulling the hair up a bit tighter as you can see better here um, I did fix the angle later um, so you can get a better view I didn't notice because we were just like we were doing so much that day and trying to hurry up because we were on a timely schedule I was being charged $20 an hour so we really had to move it and so yeah, she just began adding um, hair. This is braiding hair that she's applying to Chalet's hair. Uh, she applied it, um, the rubber band still attached just to hook it onto the hair and then twisted it all around as if you were putting your hair back in a ponytail again. And then she twists the hair down. And you wanna make sure you really tuck her um, actual hair so that it's not sticking out so much from the twist and you want to secure it with a rubber band at the end so that it doesn't unravel and she's just repeating the same steps looping the braiding hair around her actual ponytail to secure it and then you just begin twisting the hair downwards and it also looks like she's twisting it under to really like grip Shelley's actual hair and make it tighter and then she's twisting it downward and then securing it again with a rubber band now I'm grabbing the hair that she left out earlier. She's grabbing a small pair of thumpers, combing it out and then creating a curl with that. And she loops the curl forward. I just love this effect. It just looks so beautiful and editorial, like super glam. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, and then next, um, she's also uh, bumping the back hairs as well. Just to create a bit curl, you want to make sure every end and edge is like sleek to perfection. And now she's uh, taking all the uh, twist braids that she created and looping them to looping them together to create one uh, continuous mohawk. This just came out so beautiful. Sorry, it didn't record her actually looping every single um, twist braid together. But yeah, it just looks so bomb. So yeah, definitely, if you want to enter in the giveaway, um, please read the description box below for all the details. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Super excited about this. This is my very first giveaway. And thank you guys so much again. Bye.